Today you're going to learn how to distribute objects with equal angle rotation in Blender with Geometry Node and how to animate it. So let's see. First of all, let's get the camera, the light, go to Geometry Node, create a new profile. I'm going to close this panel and we are going to use points. And in every point, we are going to instance an object. So now we have a point and this will be the number of instance. So what we can do is to use integer. So later we can use this information with another node. For example, I'm going to select six. Now we have six points and let's instance on these points some object. For example, I'm going to use a cube. However, I'm going to modify this cube, make it smaller and for example, make it longer. Maybe a bit smaller and I want to move this object with set position to not confuse it and think that is two objects. So I'm going to push it, for example, this distance. Okay, so we have this object and now I'm going to set this view. What I want is to distribute this number, six objects, equally. So something like this, more or less. One, two, three, four, five, six with the same distance. So how we can do that? Of course, I know that we can use a curve cycle and in every point of the curve cycle, we can instance an object. But I don't want to use this technique because maybe later I want to do an animation of revealing these objects where we have all together and later we have, we separate distance. So to do this, what we're going to do is to use rotation. But which angle we want? This one. Okay, but now we are moving all together. So what we have to do? What we have to do, first of all, is to isolate this with combine I. So we can control only this axis. And now what we have to do is to use index. So if we use index, as you can see, for every instance, is having a different rotation. However, this is not perfect. As you can see, this distance is not the same like this one, etc. So we need to do something in the middle. So first of all, something really important. This works with degrees. However, when we use this node, we are working with radians because it's a vector. If you don't know what is a radian and the difference between a radian and a degree, I recommend you to watch this tutorial. But basically, to sum up, one cycle, one full cycle in degrees is 360 degrees and in radians is 2 pi. That is equal to this word. So if we write this word, it's the same like 360 degrees. But the important thing is to know if we work with degrees, notation or with radians. Because now this number is working in radians. So the first distance is one radian, two radians, three radians, four, five, etc. So the only thing we have to do is to use another math node to control the distance between each instance. And here we need to select multiply. So as you can see, we are using the index information and multiplying this number for this one. And if I start slowly, from zero, we shift and increase this, you can see that in some point we can get the same distance, something like that. But we don't want to do it like randomly just picking here, right? But we know we have to do something like this. So the question is, which number is this one? And the solution is easy. We have to use another math node. Actually, we could do it here. We could do the progression here, but I want to show it to you. And use divide. So here, remember, now we are working with radians because this is radians. Here we have to insert the full cycle in radians. Remember, it's 2 pi. So 2 pi. This number is a full cycle. And we have to divide the full cycle, right? Like a pizza, for the number of instants. Like a pizza, right? So how many slices do you want in the pizza? So 
let's divide it by this number. And now, as you can see, we have a perfect distance, perfect angle between each instance. And if I increase this, you can see that always they have the same distance. So this is how it works. However, remember, we are working with radians. If it's too complicated for you to work in radians because you don't remember this number, what you can do is to convert this to degrees. So let's duplicate this and here select to radians. Why? Because that means that the input, as you can see, is degrees. So now this number is not radians, is degrees. And we are going to convert these numbers, that is degrees, to radians. So now that we work with degrees, we have to know which number in degrees is a full cycle. Remember, it's 360 degrees. So here, instead of tau to pi, now we have to write 360 degrees. And it's the same. So this, only use it if you want to use here degrees. So maybe it's easier for you to remember this number and just divide it by the number of instance. If you don't care about degrees, then delete this and use tau to pi. I'm going to leave it with degrees because I think it's easier. And I'm going to write here degrees. So you know that this is degrees. And this, let's write 360 degrees divided by the number of instance. So you can remember that this is just to insert this value here. But actually, you could do like this 360 divided by this number, 9 is the same. However, if we use this node, we don't have to update this number and we can do it from here. And now to finish, how we can do this animation to rebuild all the objects like this? This is really easy. So if this distribution is one full cycle, then we need to reduce this number, as you can see. What we can do is to select 0 and then increase this number until a full cycle, so you can do this animation. Let's do it really fast. Let's insert a keyframe. And let's say something like this. And let's select one full cycle. Add keyframe. And now if I press play, we have this animation. And remember, you can do it with any number, any moment, as you can see. I'm going to push this a little bit. So this is how we distribute objects with an equal angle rotation between them. And always remember the difference between degrees and radians. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and remember you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And also watch exclusive tutorials like this one. And see you in the next video.